An 11 year old South Minneapolis boy is fighting for his life in an East African hospital after he fell sick while on vacation. He's been in the hospital for 29 days fighting for his life. They don't know what the illness is, but now they're hoping to bring their home, uh, bring their son home from Nairobi, Kenya, back to Minnesota. WCCO's Mary Al Mose joins us live with details on this effort. Al? Yeah, Jason, Zacharia, uh, better known as Zach, he went here to Northrop Elementary School in South Minneapolis, and his classmates, his friends, his neighbors, they're all rallying around him now to collect funds to medically evacuate Zach back to Minnesota so he can get the care that he needs. His family uh, decided once travel bans were lifted to East Africa that they would take the whole family for on vacation for the first time to see their relatives. While they were there, three of the five kids, including Zach, became extremely sick. They had nausea, loss of muscle control, and fatigue. All three of those kids that grew sick were hospitalized in Nairobi. Their mom tells me that doctors have not been able to identify exactly what's causing the kids' illnesses. The oldest son, 16-year-old Muhammad, died in the hospital there on June 30th. Zach is still hospitalized on breathing tubes, fighting for his life. His mom took the rest of the family back home to Minnesota while their dad stayed behind in Nairobi with Zach. And now they're asking for financial support for a medical evaluate, evacuation to bring Zach back to the States, as well as pay for all of Zach's medical expenses. It's $1,000 a day, his mom tells me, to stay in the hospital there. And so they're just asking for any sort of support. They've created a GoFundMe page, and we have that on our uh, on our website, WCCO.com, Jason. Okay, Mary L. Mose, live in Minneapolis. Thanks, Al.